Good afternoon from the National Weather Service office in Norman. Here's a quick update on today's severe weather potential. The risk areas for severe thunderstorms have not changed very much since yesterday. We still have an enhanced risk covering much of western Oklahoma and parts of western North Texas. A, a slight risk denoted by the yellow shading on the map goes all the way over to I-35 and east of I-35, and then the green shaded counties are in a marginal risk. Don't get too hung up on the colors on the map. Just know that if you're in any risk area, you need to prepare for at least the potential for severe thunderstorms. Now the enhanced risk area out in far western Oklahoma and down into western North Texas, that highlights the area where we expect supercell thunderstorms, these isolated thunderstorms, to be most likely to occur uh, later this afternoon and early this evening. Those are the storms that would have the potential to produce up to baseball size hail and the very damaging winds. There'll also be some limited tornado potential out there. We'll talk about that in a second. As the storms move further to the east this evening, we would expect those thunderstorms to become more of a line or a cluster of storms that would cut down on the very large damaging hail potential, but it would increase the damaging wind potential as the storms move toward the east. As I said, the supercell thunderstorms that develop early in the event, say between 5 p.m. and 8 or 9 p.m., will have some very low tornado potential. The, the, the potential is not zero, but it's not very high today. But certainly any isolated storm this afternoon, we'll be watching it very carefully to see if it develops any signs of producing a tornado. Tornadoes are definitely not the big story uh, for today. Here's the timing. Again, we expect thunderstorms to form in the eastern Texas Panhandle after 3 p.m. today. Those storms will intensify and move into western Oklahoma around 5 o'clock or after. And if those storms continue into the later evening, they would be approaching the I-35 corridor sometime after 8 or 9 p.m. And our far southeastern Oklahoma counties down toward Holdenville and Colgate and Atoka and Durant, you may not see storms until after 10 or 11 o'clock uh, this evening. Remember, not everybody on this map is going to see severe weather today. Some of us may not even see any thunderstorms at all, but it is important to be aware that, that we're in that time of year. It's mid-May, there's a dry line out to the west, and we're going to see these uh, episodes of severe thunderstorms occur. And this is one of those times where we're going to need to pay attention to the weather, uh, especially as we go through the uh, afternoon and into the evening hours. Stay up to date with the latest weather information at our website at weather.gov Norman. Also follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the very latest information on this evolving severe weather situation.